I've travelled outside Monte Carlo to meet up with Serena Williams coach Patrick Moratoglu. He is building a new tennis academy that will open up next year. The Frenchman is looking to grow his business, but first he must prepare Serena for a roll on Garros run. So Patrick, how many courts are you, do you have here and how are you going to make money? Well, I'm, I'm sort of thinking the construction here is going on. Yeah, it's a very big investment, of course. Uh, but I think it's worth because we have a lot of players. We don't have the same culture for academies as Australians or Americans, but I think there is, a, there is a space for one or two big academies in Europe. Actually, the fact that we have a lot of players here, we have 130 full-time, shows that they need a place to do it and that now it's going to be the biggest in Europe. In a year's time, this construction site will make way for more than 30 indoor and outdoor courts. This is a place, all this area, where there is no indoors. I remember a few months ago, uh, Djokovic was living in, uh, in Monte Carlo, called me and he said, look, I'm looking for an indoor court because it was raining, where can I play? There is zero. <laughs> you coach a lot of players. Uh, so you coach a world number one. It, it's, it must be quite nervous to come in as a coach, to coach one of the great, greatest players of all time, Serena Williams. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. <laughs> and uh, if you don't do well, everybody sees it. <laughs> but it's also unbelievably exciting because when you have a player that can win Grand Slams, that's the most exciting thing in the world when you are a tennis coach. There has been some ups and downs, but if I look at the last three years, I'm quite happy with the results. She's won, she came back to number one. Uh, she won 29 titles, six Grand Slams in three years, which is quite a lot. 33% of all the Grand Slams she won in 17 years in just three years. Serena Williams began the year by winning her 19th Grand Slam title at the Australian Open. She's now just three away from Steffi Graf's record total. The 33-year-old will take her unbeaten record into the clay court season. How do you keep her motivated? I mean, is, it, is she motivated by results or she want to get become just a better player uh i don't honestly i don't do so much to motivate her she's unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> she's just a, a yeah. champion and i think the difference between champions and other players is this ability to always look in front of them they never look behind mm -hmm. when she won Ryan Garros in 2013 after the match she said oh come with me i want to stretch so she came she started to stretch <laughs> I think most of the players that win a Grand Slam, they don't, the first idea is not to stretch, but she was stretching. And then immediately she said, oh, now I have to win Wimbledon, right after. How is that when she walks on the court or you walk on the court and think, every time somebody expects her to win? You know, with Serena Williams walking on the court, that people go, oh, this will be over in 20 minutes. And sometimes it is, but it's sometimes. not always the case now. No. It's the tough players there. Of course. No, no, it's not easy. It's much less easy than what it looks like. And the pressure she has is unbelievable because Every time she wins, it's normal. Yeah. And if she loses, it's what's happening? Yeah. What's happening? Something's wrong? <laughs> I'm just wondering where you think Serena can improve. I think she can improve a lot. Her game at the net for sure can improve. And the transition from the, the baseline to the, to the net can be improved a lot. Uh, her swing volley can be better. She can sometimes, she's hesitating to move forward and she plays one more shot. She could, she could come up and finish it with a, a swing volley of volley. And it's just to name a few. She learned French, you teach her French? She's speaking French now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that must help. She the... wants to improve everything, yeah. <laughs> even, even, even French. Even French. <laughs>